Welcome, welcome to the Rick Kelts Real Estate Show with a new edition for Sunday nights, a recap of the week, a weekly recap with Rick Kelts Real Estate. Here in Arizona, we take a look at what went on during the week and kind of take a peek of what we expect perhaps next week. Now, the beginning of this week, what we saw was a little bit of a disturbance in the Middle East that shocked oil prices and uh, made the feds a little bit jitty about uh, inflation. In fact, the Fed chairman came out this week and said, look, we're not we're not uh, lowering rates until we're sure that we're headed in the right direction. So the bond market took that as a bit of a signal. Rates went up a little bit, about 6.97 to 7.1, then turned around and came back, waiting for the jobs reports on Friday. Now, our inventory in the Valley has kind of flattened out as expected. You can see here that it's kind of coming down a little bit. I suspect most of that is Easter. So we're going to watch that as we get out of the holidays and see if, uh, if there's any changes. I am seeing a bit of an uptick on the seven-day moving average of new listings. So it's possible that that listing number is going to level out or perhaps just rise just a little bit coming into this week. Now, out in the East Valley, the Far East Valley, there's a big development out there called the Eastmark Center of Industry has wrapped up its construction. You can see here that it's several million feet of warehouse space, and they're deliberately putting it out by the data centers uh, from Google and Meta out there, and they don't really know who their tenants are going to be. They say it takes about three to six months before people follow up and start signing leases, uh, but they're not the only ones building these big warehouses out there. Another curious thing in the East Valley that's going on You've probably seen these buzzing around town. That's called a Waymo driverless car. And they are announcing that they are going, you're going to be able to order food delivered to your house in a driverless car. Now, I don't know how that increases the market or what that does. Um, if I want to order food delivered, I don't really care if it comes to the driver or not. Except this one, they send you a text on your phone that your car is there. You go out, you push a button. It unlocks the trunk to get your food. I don't know. It's uh, supposed to be something new that they're trying, but I don't know what the end game is. Do they think more people are going to order food? Tell me in the comments, would this make you order food if you could get it delivered without a driver? You know, you don't have to tip. I don't know. We'll see what happens.